Coach Joe, Coach Joe is hungry, hungry baby. baby. My name is Joe. You're at the Joe's Hungry channel, produced, filmed, edited right here within the city limits of Fairmount, Georgia. Today, I'd like to get a few special shout outs out of the way before we move on. Jared B, Sandy, Jason P, The Triplets, Ellie, Winston, and Rain, Christian, Anna, Michael Valamore. Happy birthday to all of you. And last but not least, a very special Joe's Hungry Get Well shout out to Robert Malachy. Today, we're headed to Culver's to check out their re release of a limited time offer that last saw the light of day eight years ago. The Pepper Grinder Pub Burger, which is a sum total of all its parts, a Culver's never frozen beef patty, a slice of cheddar cheese, a slice of Swiss cheese, two slices of bacon, peppercorn mayonnaise on a lightly buttered and toasted everything bun. You can also add a few more free toppings if you choose. Ketchup, mustard, and pickles, raw onions, lettuce, and regular mayonnaise. I did not add any of those in the interest of science to give a fair and unbiased review. The Grinder Pub Burgers comes in three sizes. A single patty version coming in at 940 calories, a double at 1110 calories. A triple patty version crosses the finish line at a diet crashing 1280 calories. For you number crunchers out there, I have the stats on the screen and in the description below. A single grinder will cost you $6.19, a double will cost you $8.19, and that's what we're doing today. A triple will pick your pocket to the tune of $10.19 before taxes in Georgia. Make any one of these combos, AKA value basket, for an additional $3.50. Is this a premium burger bargain that you just can't pass up? I hope to answer that question later in the video when we do the Joe's Hungry weight test and calculate the actual real fast food price per ounce. So let's get our burger fix on and roll the drive through at Culver's in Jasper, Georgia. Welcome to Golden Day Fish for today. Could I get uh, three pepper grinder pub burgers? Uh, the, uh, do you want uh, baskets for all three of these or just sandwiches? Just sandwiches. 26 at the window. Thank you. And if you pull up on the uh, right side, please. Right side? Yes. Got it. Have a nice day. See ya. I've got my pepper grinder burgers. Let me pull off to the side and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Grinder burger number one comes in at 152.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Grinder burger number two comes in at 153.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Grinder burger number three comes in at 146.7 degrees Fahrenheit. If you watch my channel for any length of time, you know what I like to see a little bit hotter than that, but that's well within parameters. So, Culver's, Jasper, you pass the Joe is Hungry temperature test. So let's move on to the next Joe is Hungry stage of scrutiny. Roll on back to the studios and do the Joe's Hungry weight test. And before anybody asks or leaves me any comments, I took off for the packaging. In other words, I set the tear on the scales. Pepper grinder number one weighs in at 9.20 ounces. Pepper grinder number two weighs in at 9.15 ounces. Pepper grinder pub burger number one weighs in at 8.75 ounces or 248 grams. Now there's a little bit of variation from burger to burger, but not enough to get my attention. So today, Culver's, you pass the Joe is Hungry consistency weight test. Now, if we do a little bit of math, average them out, we come up with a top of the scale, 91 cents an ounce. Now it's time to do what everybody has come to see, the Joe is Hungry big reveal. Me llamo Fabi. Hola. This is what it looks like 
and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen what it looks like, and I'll let you be the judge whether this thing matches up to its advertised photos or not. We saw how much it was. It's kind of a high price burger, but Culver's is kind of a premium burger place. And that'll only leave us one more test, and that would be the Joe is Hungry bite test. So it is bite test engage. <laughs> This was obviously made with care. It was not a sloppy or a wet burger, yet still retained a moderate amount of juiciness. The everything bun was soft and a little bit chewy, but held up well with no evidence of bleed through. The pepper infused mayonnaise was the dominant flavor, almost to the point of distraction. It has a bold peppery aftertaste that lingers long after the first bite. This mayonnaise blend rings in at about a 3.5 on the Joe Heatometer. In spite of that, I can still taste the bacon. It's crunchy and appeared freshly cooked. Could have used four slices instead of two. Six slices, even better. That would have sealed the deal. The two slices of cheese blend well. It gives the burger a well-rounded background cheesy flavor. If I had to do it again, I would definitely go easy on that mayonnaise blend. Maybe some of the free condiment options. Pickles, lettuce, maybe a dash of mustard would satisfy my taste buds. Does this burger travel well? To answer this question, let's go back in time and do the Joe is Hungry sneak -a doodle bite. sneak -a doodle bite number one. Mm. sneak -a doodle bite number two. sneak -a doodle bite number three. Hot, juicy, a little bit of spice, bread, a little bit spongy. Let's move on with this video. With that little bit of insight, I don't think this burger actually travels very well at all. So I'm gonna recommend eating this thing in the dining area or even in the parking lot. So now it's time to give this thing a score. If you don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and I'll also never achieve. Five and down, is that all too familiar? Slippery slope to the pits and depths of food hell. So let's go ahead and give this thing the number that it truly deserves. A little bit pricey, although made with love. The actual presentation versus the ad photos, a little bit dicey, but not too bad. Culver's, Jasper, today, I'm gonna have to go 7.1. That is my number, this is my review. That's not a bad score, and hopefully I will see you in the next video.